This is the next exact thing that we are going to create now. So after this href, all we are going to do, first of all, this is the navbar header. So we are going to create this outside this navbar header. And now here we are creating, we are going to use two classes, navbar collapse. You can observe here that the exact same class is been used over here, this navbar collapse that we have created. And along with it, we are going to use another class which is known as collapse. So this is the first thing that we are going to create and we are going to complete this div. And in the second case, we are going to use an UL with a class name of nav and we are going to close this circuit so there it goes now we need to create the rest of the list items those were created over there so we are going to create it now First of all, create all these list items. So we are copying it and pasting it for five times. There it goes. About us, services. So after this part, let's press Control plus S. Get back to our project and reload and we can see that each and everything is now present into our document. It is now being displayed into our web page. And if we press Control shift 10 and if we click, we can see that everything is now in order. They are being toggled. If we click into this icon here, we can see that the data are now getting toggled on or toggled off. So this is the thing, the first one. Now let's talk about customization and another thing we need to provide another individual class name here in the first case which should be active class we will be using active class over here now i know that you have a lot of questions over here but first of all you need to observe here that this is the active class which has been activated after we have introduced this list class active with our home page which is the home page over here this is actually the home page now let's talk about all those things so we have used a lot of classes over here such as this sr only or this nav bar toggle or this nav or nav bar nav if we talk about this nav let's copy this thing and we are getting into bootstrap mean.css and here if we find dot nav find and we can see that it is now showing you these two things this navbar nav fix dot nav there it goes the first one is dot nav check it out over here you can see that padding left zero margin bottom zero list style none so everything is present over here each and everything those are being executed over here so this is the class nav and on the other hand, if we now look for navbar nav, if we get back over here and if we place navbar nav, if we press this find button, we can see that all those classes with along with their properties, those are now getting executed over here, such as this margin 7.5 peaks or this or that. Every those sort of things, those are being executed over here. So in the same manner, if we place here dot sr only, this is practically the same exact class that we have used here previously. There it is, sr only. So if we place here dot sr only, we can see that this is the class. So practically all those classes, those classes are being defined over here. So all we need to do, we need to just fetch those classes and we need to use those classes and we need to customize all those CSS. Those are incorporated with all these classes. 
if it is found necessary only. So in order to make some customization, we will be soon get acquainted with it. We will have to make some customization such as if we look into our template. This is the exact scenario that is be getting observed over here. This is the menu item along with its colors. But this is not exactly the same thing so far that we have encountered. Now we have to make a lot of customization over here. As we can see that it is still now away a miles than the exact thing that we are observing over here. This is the actual menu. So in order to customize our CSS, the very first thing that we need to know what exact classes are in action in creating all those things. So that is why we have to customize these things. But first we need to customize this extra padding or margin thing that is being imposed. So we are getting into our close this bootstrap dot mean CSS and let's get back into custom style sheet dot CSS and inside all we need to do. We need to remove this padding bottom of 20 pix from here. So this is the first thing that we are going to do. Come back reload and we can see that this 20 pix extra padding is being removed so far. But the later thing is still there's a padding thing which is being imposed which could be fatal in our in our orientation of templates if we get back we can see the next thing is being appearing from here so this is what we need to check out the next thing is